What's going on everyone, I'm Alex and this is the unboxing video of the MPI T6S. I got this phone from Coolicool.com for $139. I chose the HL to get it and it made it here in 7 days. It's a bit long, it normally makes it here in 5 days but uh, it is what it is. This uh, device has a 5.5 inch screen, it's a 1280x720p display so it should look really nice. It uh, has a MediaTek 6582 processor, it's a quad-core processor clocked to 1.3 GHz. has 2 gigs of RAM, so yes, you heard that right, 2 gigs of RAM. But the bad side is that it only has 4 gigs of internal storage. It uh, should also have a 13 megapixel camera on the back and a 5 megapixel camera on the front, but we'll have to check that out. It's also running Android 4.4. So uh, let's take a closer look at the box. At the bottom here uh, we have GPS, Wi-Fi, NFC, GPRS, I'm not sure if it actually has uh, NFC, I'll have to check that out. So uh, on top here we have the Empire uh, logo, this is how the phone looks like, nothing on this side and uh, nothing on the sides just except uh, here. The box, I'm not sure if you can see it, uh, it's made, seems like it's made of the, not cardboard but the plastic even though it's probably just cardboard. Let's uh, take a look at the back here. So um, we have the dimensions here, the display resolution and stuff, however this is uh, wrong right here because uh, this is not the actual resolution of the, the screen. Uh, the operating system says uh, Jelly Bean, however I do believe it has KitKat, but I'll have to check that out in the review. Also the internal memory, 1 gig of RAM, this is also wrong, the ROM it's also wrong, so uh, this sticker here doesn't really have anything to do with the actual device. So nothing in here. And here we can see that it comes with uh, the silicon, uh, oh it's actually a smart case, that's uh, very nice. The back of it is made out of plastic, but let me just take it out of the plastic here so we can take a closer look. So the back is made of plastic and this is another soft type of plastic, it looks a bit like leather but uh, obviously it's not uh, leather. I'm curious to see if uh, it has this uh, window when we actually use it on the phone, but we'll check that out in the review video. This is the actual phone itself, I got the white color, it does come with a screen protector as you can see. This is the manual, however I don't believe this manual actually fits uh, this particular phone because on the back here uh, it says NFC again and fingerprint uh, identification, I don't believe this phone actually has that. But I'll have to check that out because in the description uh, it actually didn't say anything about that. But. Uh, we could have a nice surprise. So nothing else here. This is the battery. So the battery claims to be 3000 milliamps. It is a bit heavy so I do expect it's gonna have anywhere between 2500 and 3000 so it's heavier than uh, most batteries from uh, Chinese devices. This is the charger. It's a European charger but I got the uh, adapter in the package from Coolicool so uh, we can charge it in North America. This looks a bit like the Samsung charger. And what else do we have here? Uh, we have some headphones. These uh, look a lot like the Samsung headphones. Let me just open them up so you can see them. So they do look a lot like the headphones from my Samsung phone. We'll leave those aside and there is also the charger, the cable. And nothing special about the cable. 
time I'm very curious to take a look at the phone. So let's take this out. It is possible that this actually has a fingerprint sensor, however I didn't see this in the description on uh, Kulikul's uh, website. Uh, now I'm wondering if, I'm, uh, if I got the right phone. But uh, let's take a closer look at the phone. So this uh, side here uh, looks very shiny, it uh, almost looks like metal, however it does feel like plastic. These are uh, the volume buttons. On top here uh, I have the headphone jack and the charging port. And on this side we have the power button. And that's about it uh, in there. On the back here we have the camera, this is supposed to be a 13 megapixel sensor. That's the flash and I do believe this is a fingerprint sensor. Which is awesome if that's the case. This is the MPI uh, logo right here. And uh, this is the speaker on the back. On the front here uh, we have the speaker, the proximity sensor and the light sensor and this is the uh, 5 megapixel camera. At the bottom here uh, we are going to have the home button, the back button and the menu button. Let me take out the back cover uh, and we'll see what's behind uh, the back cover. And it does seem to have an NFC chip which is crazy. I, I wasn't expecting to have an NFC chip and this is probably it. This is awesome. So the NFC connects right here basically. I'm gonna have to check this out and see if it actually works. That's that's awesome. That's really exciting to be honest. So uh, the speaker is right here at the bottom. The IMEI. It has a dual SIM, a dual standby uh, obviously. So uh, the, the SIM cards go in here and uh, in here go, goes the memory card. Alright, so let's uh, put the battery on. If this phone would have had an octa-core processor it would have been extremely extremely nice and for only $139. I'm, uh, I'm really curious to see how it does. And with the fingerprint sensor and the NFC chip, that is just uh, awesome. Let's uh, turn it on, see if it has batteries, so it does come on. We have the MPI logo. And their boot up uh, animation logo. This phone feels uh, really nice. It is very, very thin. And it should start up any second now. The screen should be a 720p screen, so I can't wait to actually see it turned on. It does take a bit to actually start up. And still starting up. This is taking quite uh, some time. And it's on. And as you can see the screen is gorgeous indeed. Let me just uh, turn on the brightness so you can see it uh, to the maximum brightness. The buttons, uh, the bottom uh, do light up, and it does have a fingerprint scanner. That's just awesome. 
Let me... It has this menu at the bottom here that I haven't seen this before so it's very easy to actually set stuff up so this is the maximum brightness uh, of the screen it does look gorgeous I have to say it's very very beautiful okay let's get back to settings here and I'll turn down the, the display here so you can actually see it better So this is the menu here, the fingerprint scanner, it's extremely extremely sensitive the screen like every time I touch it it uh, presses something, I even uh, see a gesture, uh, I'm not sure what this uh, does. I'm curious to see if it has a double tap. Maybe not, it's probably something else. I'll uh, have to check that out. And if we go into about phone, uh, the Android version is uh, 4.4.2. So it's KitKat, I'll have to check that out in the review and see if it's actually true. Screen gestures. So it does have screen gestures as well, so double tap. Let's see. And it does work. This is awesome. I am very excited about this phone now. Let's uh, check out the apps and see what uh, apps it comes installed with. So I already see Google Maps, Gmail, and I'm not sure if this is the actual Play Store, it looks a bit uh, different, but I'll have to check that out and see if it's the actual uh, Play Store. Uh, just a quick comparison with my OnePlus One that also has a 5 inch uh, screen, so there about the same size they are both with the same thickness actually the Empire here is uh, a bit thinner so this is a very exciting phone I will do a review in a couple of days don't forget to subscribe and uh, if you wanna check this phone out check out the link in the description there there is also a three dollar coupon and uh, coolicool.com is uh, the provider Thanks for watching.